a few years ago, I reviewed, in my opinion, the greatest action figure ever made, the 1984 Superpower Superman by Kenner. Next year will be the 40th anniversary of that toy. And this year, it's the 10th of Henry Cavill as Superman. I thought, why don't I do a series of Superman action figure unboxings? And at the end, see just how well they measure up to the greatest of all time. I'll be making my way through these kal in chronological order. And first on that list is the 1995 Superman Man of Steel Power Flight Superman by Kenner. I originally bought this about 20 years ago and I've always wanted to unbox it. And now that I've got a reason to unbox it, I bought myself an extra one because I think the packaging looks awesome. And the number one reason I bought this was because it was always under my belief that this figure was basically a discarded Super Flight Superman from back in the 80s. A figure that they were going to release to commemorate Superman's anniversary. He was going to be all in gold and have a Super Flight superpower. And here are pictures from Jason Geyer, who mocked up what the figure was supposed to look like during his release. Now this is almost 10 years later from 1986 to 1995, but Kenner was known for using old ideas, old mechanisms, and even old molds for new upcoming figures. And that's what I'm going to find out right now. If you squeeze this Man of Steel's legs and his arms start moving up and down, then we've got our missing link to the greatest action figure line ever made the superpowers when the world needs saving the world turns to and his super team superman's not just a superhero he's the superhero superboy and steel are the super team this is steel he's got an armor suit and check out that hammer pow superboy rides in on his motorcycle and blasts him bam pow kondu is a super villain he's got these power cables that go z -z -z. superman comes in like boom bad guys gotta learn you don't mess with the ass Superman. Superman. Figures and vehicles each sold separately. Oh, I forgot to look at the back of the box. I'm so excited about finally opening it. Well, okay, so let's take a look at the back of the box. From top to bottom, Join forces with the most powerful being of all time, the legendary Man of Steel. Superman and his team of superpowered allies are mankind's ultimate weapon against the most fearsome, unstoppable villains in the galaxy. And looking at all the figures, well, you know what this is from. From the 1992 Death and Return of Superman. And as someone who not just read the comics, but also owns the novelization and at the bottom you've got how to use his power action flight you flick his arms up no mention of squeezing his legs so this might be a little disappointing to me to stop the evil doomsday you need a hero who's more than a man Superman. he's been called the greatest the strongest the first among heroes Superman. High voltage villain Conduit is powered by Kryptonite, but with Krypton cannon blasting, Laser Superman powers him down. Conduit will learn, don't mess with the S. Superman! It's the dreaded Doomsday, the most fearsome force in the universe. Even Doomsday will learn, you don't mess with the S. Superman figures each sold separately, blocks not included. The card that he comes with looks really, really badass. And on the back, oh, that's a uh, little underwhelming classic Kenner blue plastic fashion the blue here has kind of turned dark a little greenish a little tint of green it's not that noticeable at first glance but the more and more I see it the more and more I see it the so Superman comes with chains Let's chain up some of the villains and he carries them away this is stupid this is what I want. Oh, wow. I was wondering whether or not they were going to put the symbol. Though, 
I'm gonna nitpick this for a bit because they did an awful job painting it in. Sloppy, sloppy work. But before we take an even closer look, I'm gonna smell this guy. And he smells fantastic. He smells really, really good. It's not a super strong smell, but it is a brand new toy smell from 1995. And taking a look at him all the way around, man, he doesn't look that bad. He looks pretty damn badass. The only thing that's really bothering me is that Superman symbol on the back. This is the Superman of the 90s. He also looks a bit like Rambo. Uh, yeah, you look pretty familiar. Are you from uh, Montauk? Maybe, maybe Philly? Now let's take an even closer look. Let's take a look at his articulation. So he has articulation that makes his arms move at the head. So I don't think that's proper articulation there. See, um, his arms, can they move separately? No, they can't. So I'll just count that as one point of articulation. Any waist articulation? No. Hip at the legs. He basically has three points of articulation because he's missing knee joints right there and that's pretty messed up. Now without the cape, great mold, great physique. The molding for the cape is pretty nice as well. Just that, that really sucks. Looks pretty nice. I mean, it's not, you know, it's not superpowers cape. It's not cloth cape, which is always a plus. But at least it, it stays on pretty nice. And now let's take a look at a superpower power flight. You just flick it. And he looks up. Da -da -da. Sort of looks up. Sort of. So, yeah. Uh, kind of don't like that. Doesn't really look up. He just kind of... Eh. 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 So it's not really looking up to fly. It's not that iconic look of Superman. Well, I guess maybe like this. I was really hoping that it was going to be like that Power Flight Superman we were supposed to get in the mid 80s. And he's not, he's not really that Superman. And this here starts redeeming him just a little bit. Because scale wise, he's perfect for the villains of the superpowers. But height wise to the original, he is a little taller. We'll find out how he really measures up to that Superman after I'm done unboxing all of the Superman. But I am really curious to know how he'll look with a cloth cape. Yeah, it doesn't really suit him. It doesn't really fit him either. Because of his mullet here, it, that cape doesn't truly fit on him. Well, no, that doesn't look good either. His original cape looks a lot better. I can't make his arms go slight. Oh, I can. Okay. So now if I do this, that looks a lot better. Adjusting his arms a little. You have to kind of take them back and it feels like he, it's not good for the mechanism inside. But posed, he looks a lot better this way. Dun, 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 dun. And just because, well, he does come with it, the whole chain thing for him to capture villains, and it seems almost like a uh, baby bassinet. Let's see what else we can do with it. I guess we can probably play that uh, Superman is chained up. And then he breaks out of it breaks out of it come on I'm making a video break breaks out of it dun, 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 dun. my final thoughts on this figure well I had high high hopes for it and maybe that's why 
I don't like it as much. He is a pretty cool figure. If he had him as a kid in 1995, I don't doubt he had a lot of fun with him. Thank you for watching it. And don't forget that the next figure I'll be unboxing is the 2001 Superman Mission Masters. It's a quick change Superman that uh, it was part of a Batman toy line. That's next. Don't miss it. Thank you for clicking on this video. My goal on YouTube is to get to 10,000 subscribers. I'm not even halfway there. If you can help me out with that, please like, subscribe, share, tell your friends. Superman's not just awesome.